All right, this is arguably the second biggest story coming out of the election in Florida last night behind the presidential race, of course. Talking about marijuana, several states legalized recreational use, while others, including Florida, okayed medical marijuana by a pretty wide margin. Josh Cassio is in Lakeland tonight where marijuana is being discussed this evening. It's been all over the news there, Josh. Yeah, we're seeing huge attitude changes towards pot. In fact, we're in the city of Lakeland tonight where they are considering decriminalizing small amounts of marijuana. We've seen that happen in other cities here in Florida, including the city of Tampa. But let's talk about medical marijuana for a second. It had a big night last night, 71% of Florida voters approving medical marijuana. That's more than Hillary Clinton got. That's more than Donald Trump got. And for some families, this represents years of fighting. It also represents hope. It's tough to watch, okay. but Kenya Lerma wants you to see this. Her nine-year-old son, Ivan, is having a seizure. This isn't normal. It's not fair for a child to undergo all this. Nor is the box full of pills he has to take. She says they do little good. No child should be taking that many drugs, these many drugs. When there's one plant that could potentially replace all of these drugs. Renee Petro is a founder of the Canna Moms, a local group that's been fighting for medical marijuana in Florida over the last three years. It's a fight they overwhelmingly won Tuesday night. Her son, Brandon, who also suffers daily seizures, thanked voters on Facebook. Thank you. To help another family and another child not go through the pain and suffering like our children are going through is worth everything. I literally, I got tears in my eyes. I put up a post and I thanked everybody for voting. Medical marijuana was approved by 71% of Florida voters, a clear reflection of changing attitudes towards pot. Nationwide, four other states, including California, approved legalizing recreational use, bringing the total to eight. Some critics worry Florida may be next, saying Amendment 2 was just a red herring. The end game is not medicine for the very sick. The end game is legalizing marijuana across this country. For parents like Lerma, the politics of pot are for others to debate. She just hopes it makes her son's life a little better. I wish, honestly, to have my child back. If I can't have my child back completely, at least have him have some kind of normalcy. And coming up tonight at 11, will the city of Lakeland decriminalize small amounts of marijuana? Mark, I'll have that answer, and I can tell you the result is pretty stunning. Back to you. Josh Cassio in Lakeland. Looking forward to it, Josh. Thanks.